A solid yellow stripe is to be painted in the middle of a certain highway. If one gallon of paint covers an area of p square feet of highway, how many gallons of paint will be needed to paint a stripe of t inches wide on a stretch of highway m miles long? One mile equals 5,280 feet, and one foot equals 12 inches. This is a great example of a difficult units question in GMAT. Now, if you look at the answer choices, of course, everything is in terms of 5,280 and 12, so there's no excuse for you to divide 5,280 by 12 or multiply 5,280 by 12. It's just a waste of time. This is a good example of a situation where looking at the answers to see how they expect it to be phrased is going to help you save a lot of time. What this is really asking about is the units. So what do I mean by units here? One gallon of paint covers an area of p square feet of highway. So p square feet of highway. So the units is this part. This is the number. So one is a number, p is a number. The gallons over feet, that's our units. So we need to know how many gallons of paint will be needed to paint a stripe of t inches on a stretch of highway m miles long. So we have t inches by m miles, where inches, of course, is your unit, miles is your unit. But somehow, we're going to have to get an answer in square feet here. So how do we do that? Well, what we're told first is that one mile is 5,280 feet. So we have 5,280 feet per one mile. And then we have m miles. This is very easy. So we just multiply the two. Miles on top cancels miles on bottom, and we're given a unit of 5,280 m feet. It's still not feet squared, but where do we get the other unit of feet? That's going to be t inches, okay? And we know that one foot equals 12 inches. So we have one foot per 12 inches. And then we know we have t inches. So what we can do is then say inches on top cancels inches on bottom, and we know we have then t over 12 feet. Now the area of the strip is going to be t inches by m inches, as we've said. So this is our area in square feet. So this unit here, this is the area we're looking for, t inches by m miles. But all we have to do in this case, so all we have to do in this case is multiply 5,280 m feet by t over 12 feet, okay? Which gives us 5,280 m t over 12 feet squared. So now we have a unit in feet squared. We're still not quite done because it says how many gallons of paint will be needed. So what we need to figure out then is how do we make the feet squared interact with this term, one gallon for every p feet. Well, as it turns out, that's pretty easy because remember, we want our answer in gallons alone, right? So we see that we can just multiply this feet squared times gallon over feet squared. So we get one over p, one gallon per p feet squared times our unit in feet squared. So 5,280 mt over 12 feet squared. And that's going to give us something in gallons because the feet squared cancels the feet squared. So you'll see an answer in, we need an answer in gallons, of course. So we've already got one gallon per p feet squared, and we've got an answer in feet squared. Well, actually, all we have to do in this case is multiply. So we get 5,280 mt feet squared over 12. 5,280 5,280 mt over 12 in units of feet squared. So if I multiply this and this together, we get feet squared, feet squared, and then we get our answer, 5,280 mt over 12 p in gallons alone. And this is your answer, which matches answer A.